Hey friends, so glad to be hanging out with you today. So as you can see, I'm just making my bed. Uh, we've started getting um, like 80 degree plus weather in South Carolina, which honestly, it's a little bit later in the year for that. Um, normally our hot weather days start a lot sooner, but um, I had put up our large quilt and so we've been sleeping with just two separate like twin size blankets and that's what I'm making my bed with um, that huge wrinkle it kind of bothers me it probably bothers y'all too but it's fine so today is just kind of an average day of homemaking for me not a whole lot of extra work the last couple of weeks though have been insanely busy so I'm really happy that this week has slowed down a bit So here we are in the kitchen, y'all. I know that everybody's kitchen is kind of like this, but mine rarely is clean. Like it'll be clean for a few hours and then I'll get the bug to start baking something or meal prepping something. And so it's basically always a disaster and always being used. Um, so I made a really yummy treat the other day. It was, um, homemade oatmeal cream pies and I plan on making a video coming out soon that's homemade like Debbie cakes so um, stay tuned for that So lately, every time I've been making desserts for us, I've been making like half of the recipe and you'll see that I threw out, there was like one piece of cake left in this. Honestly, the cake wasn't that great. Um, I had used a recipe that was like really quick and um, it just wasn't as good as my usual chocolate cake recipe. So we didn't eat it as fast as we could have and the last piece our last couple pieces were actually kind of like dry and stuff so I just tossed that in the garbage and you'll see that I didn't actually finish cleaning the kitchen um, I mean I did that day but not in not when you're seeing it um, because my dishwasher was already full I had forgotten to run it the night before and um, I like my dishwasher stuff to be out of the sink before I do hand washing all my pots and pans. It's just how I do things, uh, so it's not a big deal, but that's how I usually like to clean my kitchen. You'll see I'm just looking for meat that I want to thaw out tonight. I didn't, I don't meal plan typically unless we're having guests over. So I was just looking to see what sounded good. And this is pork cube steak. If you fry this up, it tastes just like 
uh, chicken fried steak. It's really good. And I'm just setting that out to thaw. Um, sometimes I have meat in the refrigerator that's thawed out during the week, um, but uh, this day I didn't. Can y'all see my hoard of dish towels and dishcloths? There's also like oven mitts and stuff in there because, you know, once you hit a certain age, that's what people start giving you as gifts <laughs> is like oven mitts and dish towels. Um, I call this my hostess cabinet. It is just like an armoire that I've had since I was about three years old and we keep it in between our bookshelves and I use it to house all of my hosting stuff. So I have a whole drawer dedicated to just like dish towels and oven mitts. Um, last year I decluttered some of my oven mitts even though a lot of them are still brand new. Just picked out my favorites and some of them, um, no, I counted and there was like over 20 oven mitts and so I donated some of them and um, I made that liner to go in the hamper. That's just where I keep my dirty dish towels and stuff. This stain, I can't get out. Um, I don't know what it is. I asked my husband because these are his jeans and he said he didn't know what it was. I've stain treated this three times and washed it twice. Um, I just went around gathering other jeans from out the house and to have something to wash it with because I did most of my laundry the day before this. If you know how to get out of stubborn stains, please let me know. Comment your tricks. <laughs> okay, so I teach um, the nursery at church and we were doing um, a unit or study on Nehemiah and I found this really neat website that had like a coloring page some activities for older kids which I didn't use but I printed out anyway and um, like the story of Nehemiah and even like a reference picture and everything I thought it was really cool so I'll link that down below if you're interested it was a free printable and here I'm just making um, like a headscarf thing. I have one. You can see it's like the orange um, satin scarf in behind the sewing machine. And I really like wearing it, but I wanted one in a different color. So I picked some scrap fabric and I had a horrible time with my bobbin. It kept bunching up and I finally got it finished, but it took a five minute project and turned it into more like an hour project. So. <laughs> You'll see that I'm talking in this clip, but I decided to cut the volume off of it because I'm in my bathroom and whenever I turn the light switch on for the light, the fan also comes on. They're not two separate switches, so I thought it would just be easier to go ahead and voice it over. So I was just trying on my finished headscarf here and it turned out okay. I think I still like my orange one better, but this is a pretty like pinky coral color and it's very light material. I really enjoy wearing headscarves, especially whenever I'm wearing like a light flowy dress and they just add an extra touch of femininity that I just love. So 
worked out really good and what I was saying in the clip was it was a really good day to wear the headscarf because my hair was kind of oily at the roots and I don't need bobby pins with it. This one seemed like it was going to stay but I had a lot more housework to finish after this so I wanted to add the clips in the bobby pins and so I wouldn't have to fuss with it at all and I was just showing you that that mini mason jar it's like a little spice jar uh, and you can find it where you find other ball canning jars in like the grocery store Walmart whatever uh, and I'd like to keep my bobby pins in it and I have another one that I keep like the clear elastic hair ties in and they work really really well for that because it keeps the um, bobby pins like all standing up so they're easier to grab all right, y'all, that's everything. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I can't wait to hang out again. Bye.